drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hi everyone welcome back to the course on introduction to material science and engineering offered by edupedia world previous lecture we discussed about martensite and with that we learned about three type of microstructures that can be present in steel we learned about perlite then we learned about bainite and finally last lecture we learned about martensite in today's lecture brief the different properties and how each of these three microstructure basically varies from each other that will be today's discussion so to begin with let's discuss about perlite and bainite perlite just to remind you is ferrite plus cementite and uh, cementite is a very very hard phase in fact cementite is the hardest phase that is possible in a steel system it is one of the hardest phase that is available in nature but cementite is much less ductile than ferrite on the other hand ferrite is a very very soft phase ferrite is a much softer phase but is highly ductile okay thereby if we increase the percentage of carbon as a result the amount of cementite increases that leads to a increase in hardness and strength of the perlite but the ductility of perlite decreases as a result of increase in amount of cementite okay we also saw that there are two types of perlite possible one is fine perlite and the other is coarse perlite okay so fine perlite which was formed at lower temperature is much more uh, rather stronger than coarse perlite whereas coarse perlite is a little bit more ductile than fine perlite so these are the basic properties of perlite perlite in itself the combination ferrite plus cementite perlite in itself is a very soft combination of phase very soft okay this is in fact the softest amongst perlite bainite and cementite so this perlitic microstructure is mainly used when we require something which has to be ductile but in most of the scenarios perlitic structure is of not very importance we and study this in much more details because this gives you a very good idea about the different processes taking place different transformations taking place but in practical application perlite is not really a very important microstructure what is the difference between bainite and perlite bainite is a much stronger phase than perlite and it has fine structure okay bainite has fine structure this was uh, for perlite this is for bainite bainite has fine structure leading to a strong structure and which is quite hard much harder than perlite bainite itself has some inherent strain in it because it was cooled to quite uh, relatively lower temperatures than perlite and that also contributes to the strength of bainite now finally speaking about martensite the thing which we discussed in the last class martensite as i said is a bct structure which is super saturated super saturated with carbon thereby this super saturated carbon solution otherwise known as martensite gives it a uh, extreme hardness and uh, very high strength in fact martensite is the hardest and the strongest microstructure of steel but with hardness comes the curse of brittleness martensite is also the most brittle structures available it is very brittle increase in the carbon percentage in the super saturation basically because whatever carbon is there in the initial austenite completely supersaturates the martensite therefore increase in carbon percentage 
up till around 0.6% leads to an increase in hardness. Beyond that, the hardness does not increase drastically, rather it starts to stagnate out. Austenite to martensite, this is quite important property. Austenite to martensite conversion is increase in volume conversion. Okay, martensite is less dense than austenite, thereby martensite formation leads to an increase in volume and that increase in volume that expansion can lead to what is known as quench cracks. So as we are suddenly cooling the material to form martensite, we are already at low temperature. This increase in volume can lead to cracking of the material. Those cracks are termed as quench cracks. And for most practical applications, the martensite which we obtain just after quenching is almost unusable because of its very very high brittle nature. Thereby martensite has to undergo certain kind of heat treatment which recovers some of the ductility. The heat treatment that the martensite undergoes to recover some amount of ductility at the expense of losing some of its strength is known as tempering. Tempering is basically a heat treatment where we take the martensite to relatively higher temperature around 250 somewhere between 250 to 600 or 650 degrees Celsius and we leave uh, it there for certain time thereby internal stresses reduce out somehow by some degree of diffusion of the supersaturated carbon leading to slight loss in hardness and strength but much better toughness and much better ductile properties. We'll see this exact tempering treatment process in our next lecture. So today's lecture we saw that perlite is the softest microstructure, benite is the intermediate microstructure in strength, martensite is the hardest microstructure but it is quite unusable without further heat treatment. In next class let's discuss about tempering. Till then have a great day. Goodbye.